Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on uh, working with or solving questions in with significant digits. Now, when you're using different operations and paying attention to your sig figs, you have to pay attention to what's happening as you as you move through your calculations. So, of course, when you're using different operations, you're paying attention to your order of operation, you're paying attention to bed mass. So, multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. Here we have multiplication and subtraction, so we need to do this multiplication before we do our subtraction. So, we have 72.23 going to multiply that by 1.2 and that gives us 86.676. So this becomes 406.3 minus 80, what was it, 86.676. However, if you remember, when we're multiplying, our answer has to have the same number of significant figures as the number with the least number of sig, sig figs. This one has two sig figs. This number has four. So then this answer must have two sig figs. So we really should be saying 406.3 minus 87 because we have to have two significant figures in that answer. That becomes 406.3 minus 87, which equals 319.3. Now, if you remember, when we're subtracting, we're paying attention to decimal places. And the answer has to have the same number of decimal places as the quantity with the least number of decimal places, and that is the 87. 87 has zero decimal places. So then this answer must have zero decimal places. So our answer here would have to be 319. <coughs> but what happens in reality when we're working with questions in, in mathematics is we tend to just plug the numbers right into the calculator and go 406.3 minus bracket 72.23 times 1.2 bracket equals 319.624. So if we put this in the calculator, we're going to end up with 319.624. That's calculation, calculator. Okay. <coughs> so there's nothing really wrong with doing that, but you also, you need to be looking at this and thinking about what are my sig figs going to be in my final answer. And one of the things you should be doing when you're working through calculations is estimating. And that's what you're going to have to be doing here. You're taking approximately 70, multiplying it by something a little bit bigger than 1. So your answer may come out to be, you know, sort of 80s, high 70s, low 80s. So let's say your answer might be 82. So you sort of look at that and think, yeah, okay, I could have an answer around 82. I know I have to have two significant figures, so my answer has to be two numbers with no decimal places. Then you can look at this and say, oh, 406.3 minus a number kind of around 82, maybe somewhere in there. I'm going to have to have an answer that has no decimal places. So what I'm trying to say is that there's nothing wrong with just plugging this into your calculator and going through it and coming up with an answer. But you need to be looking and paying attention to what your sig fig should look like when you get to the end. And noticing that we're going to have two sig figs here, this number is going to have no decimals, that means this number can have no decimal places. So we would have to round this up, because of the 6, to 320. 
Now you can see that our answer is out by one, this last digit, 319 or 320. And when you're working with significant figures, it's not unusual for different people to be out by one number, the last digit be out. It depends on the person and the approach they're using, so that's not unusual. Let's look at one more question. We have 72.23 divided by 5.20 times 88.54 minus 435. So just walking through this one step at a time, paying attention, really close attention to the sig figs. We have 72.23. We're going to multiply 5.2 times 88.54. That gives us 460.408 minus 435. <clears throat> now we know that this answer has to have three sig figs because we're multiplying and our answer has to have the same number of fig sig figs as the number with the least number of sig figs. So this has got to be a 460. So it's 460 minus 435. Our answer here is going to be, let's see, 72.23 divided by 465 minus 35 is, or I'm sorry, 460 minus 435 is 25. We have two sig figs there. And we're going to take 72.23 and divide it by 25. get 2.889. We're only allowed, because we're dividing here, we're only allowed to have two significant figures, which is the number of significant figures we have in, the, in this number here. So our answer then would be 2.9. Now, if we do this question directly in our calculator, we have 72.23 divided by bracket 5.2 times 88.54 minus 435 close bracket equals 280, whoops, 2.842. So by calculator, we get 2.842. Four, two. If you're going to do it by calculator, you have to be looking at this question and saying, all right, I got a number with four sig figs here. I'm going to multiply these two together. I'm going to end up with an answer. If you look at this, this is a 5 approximately. This is approximately a 90. 5 times 90 is approximately 450. You know your answer has to have three sig figs. It's going to be, you know, maybe in the 450 area. 450 minus 435 is going to give me an, an answer that has two significant figures. It'll be something like 15, 20, somewhere in there. Two sig figs. So I know my final answer has to have two sig figs. You sort of have to stop and think your way through the significant figures here. If I end up with paying attention to my sig figs, I can say, okay, this could be 2.8. So by calculator, I could have an answer of 2.8. Going through this method, I would have an answer of 2.9. And again, you can see the last digit is out by 1, which again is not unusual or unreasonable when you're working with approximate numbers. So a good idea to just sort of use this method initially to get a, an idea of what you're doing and then you will feel more confident working straight with the calculator. This is presented by Wise Guys. Good luck with your sig figs.